And it's Tuesday. It is finally Tuesday. Holy Moses. And you are watching The Bridge Show. Let the show begin. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the IP studio in our basement of the Oslo HQ here in Norway. It's Tuesday and you are watching The Bridge Show again. Holy Moses. And we are back. And in the red chair, no other than Nils Jürgen. Welcome, Nils Jürgen. Thank you, Simon. I think this is the first time you're here. Well, it's my first time in this chair, at least. That's, uh, that's very, very true. Uh, absolutely. And for those of you that don't know this, uh, uh, Nils is the head of development. He is managing all these marvelous uh, engineers, which basically create all this you know, spectacular magic that we surround ourselves with. Yeah. And you've been doing that for 18 years. Yeah, I've been around for a while, so you know. <laughs> Still looking forward to the future, but... You know. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Holy <laughs> Moses. And uh, you've been, you know, uh, increasing the development staff pretty offensively, I think. Yeah, we have uh, hired a few guys uh, quite recently. Yeah. Um, we're uh, seeking uh, to hire young guys. We prefer, you know, to build from uh, the bottom up and, uh, <laughs> you know, add experience as they go along and, uh, you know, work in our environment and with the, uh, our very good colleagues and, uh, yeah. That's excellent. And if you are a young, aspiring, super good developer, well, look no further. Make contact with Nils immediately. It's for your own good. So yeah, uh, we had a big recruitment effort, uh, you know, uh, in the mid of this year, and it has, you know, resulted in, in a lot of nice people. Yeah, uh, we always aim for quality, so sometimes it takes a while to get uh, the right guy on board. Uh, but uh, so far we've been pretty successful, so... Uh, I say, oh uh, boy. I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to getting those new guys uh, up to scratch and, uh, you know, get them into our environment and uh, all our technology and our way of doing things. You know, that's, that's very true, uh, because again, there is a way of doing things. Uh, we've been doing this for, for quite some time and, and you know, uh, it, it takes a while to get into what's it all about. And, as, and especially, of course, the, the quality, uh, the stability uh, and the quality of the product. I would say that's one of the number ones. Yeah, and uh, I absolutely agree with that. And uh, we've been so lucky uh, that we've been able to build on the same product family for, you know, since we started. And how many can say that, you know, <laughs> adding on to the same product uh, family for 15 years plus and uh, still having uh, code, you know, which sort of uh, was the first build we did uh, back, uh, you know, a uh, long time ago. So, you know, it's not like we we scratch things and begin uh, afresh, you know, it's more like we add on top of what we already have because, you know, we're capable of doing that because we keep on to the guys for so long that, you know, they're, they're able to maintain what's already there, you know, compared to many others. Yeah, but that's, that's so true and, and also it, it's so important because that means, of course, that, that a lot of the core code and technologies is super stable because it's been with us for a long, long time. Yeah. And then, of course, sometimes we, we open up the hood and, and do some uh, corrections and modifications and, and optimizations, but mostly it's, it's you know, super stable fund foundations. Yeah. That is, that is extremely important. So you have these two angles where you keep on to what you already have, but then at the same time you bring on new guys, you know, young guys with new ideas and yeah. you know, new take on things. Yeah. And that's a very good mix. I do believe so. You're right about that. And it's been very successful so far. Um, you know, we are actually three days away from the, uh, the, the show uh, that, that was going to basically happen. We are going to have our own kind of show on Friday, where uh, actually every single developer that has been rushing to manage all these great demos that we were uh, you know, going to do in, in, in three days' time, they're going to show it internally. So we're looking forward to that. 
Absolutely. <laughs> so we have some plans on Friday to really show what we've been working on. You know, we've been talking on this show quite a while uh, f on, on some of the major kind of features that's going to come. Can, can we do, you know, a couple of glimpses into, you know, the, the, the nice stuff we're going to see on Friday? I heard some, uh, you know, rumors about some quite cool things with SRT. Yeah, of course, we have the long overdue uh, <laughs> SRT integration. Um, we actually attempted, uh, we had a go on this, uh, you know, uh, IBC last time. It was That's around. That's true, in 2019 we showed a uh, yeah. demo version, yeah. uh, but we just didn't follow up on that. Yeah, we? we didn't uh, bring it over the finishing line, so this time uh, we've actually set uh, some of the new guys on it, because uh, it cool. was a nice way of getting into things. Yeah. And, uh, They've been, you know, taking this very seriously, and they've made an impressive effort. So, you know, we believe that we will have something on Friday, which we can demonstrate internally, at least. Oh my goodness, I, I really can't wait. And you know, we are then utilizing uh, SRT to to be able, of course, to monitor it. So we will monitor the transport stream with all the tools we had for ages, and we will then, of course, have the SRT metrics as well. Yeah. And we'll support then the, the normal way of connecting, basically, as a listener. And we will then be able to initiate a listening session. And we will be compliant with the High Vision Hub as well. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, look no further. This is pretty cool. And we also, this is my favorite. We also, uh, you know, are going to implement something I, my heart is, uh, you know, really, really longing for. And that's the RDP functionality with SRT. And for those of you that doesn't know what the RDP is, it's a return, a return data path. And that means that any kind of transport stream that we view on the probe or, or monitor on the probe can actually be returned home to HQ via then basically a, a transport mechanism. Now that transport mechanism is over SRT. And that means, you know, you can put it on the internet. Yeah, that's uh, the scary part. Uh, <laughs> we can actually be in series with uh, some real footage, uh, <laughs> so you can actually send it to us. We can uh, sort of look at look at it, monitor it, and then send it back using this uh, feature Simon is talking about. It's, it's super cool, and that means basically you can, you know, be anywhere uh, on the globe, connected to the internet, and basically then look at what's being monitored at that particular place. It's, it's it, I'm very excited. Boy, oh boy! But SRT is, is you know. Um, one thing, but there was another feature that really grabbed me, and that was uh, the high frequency thumbnails. Yeah, uh, we've been working on this uh, timeline for uh, some time, yeah. um, where you can uh, present uh, various uh, metrics along with a nice uh, timeline showing thumbs, yeah. uh, amongst other uh, metrics, uh, and uh, of course. The initial version had like a refresh of the terms around four, uh, 20 seconds, yeah. which uh, is, is a fine starting point, but sometimes you want uh, a bit more frequent terms than that. So uh, in this uh, upcoming version, we will support uh, down to one second terms in the timeline, so you can zoom down to the lowest level and then <laughs> get a new fresh term every second, so you can actually get a good feeling for what's going on. Yeah, because that, you know that, that that's kind of where the delta is. Because when it's very close to a second, you can actually see what's going on. You know, when is the next commercial break? Uh, what's actually going to happen? Yeah. And you can correlate that with the data on the timeline. That's yeah. uh, really, really wow, remarkable. Yeah. So, uh, so of course, with uh, more frequent terms, you also you know that comes a higher uh, consum consumption of uh, disk space. Yeah. So, so we have this built-in uh, feature where you can actually project how much uh, time you will uh, cool. be able to store regarding the timeline. So you, you will be able to adapt uh, you know, the frequency of terms, what kind of data types you want to explore for which streams, so that you can get the right sort of window yeah. for the right kind of data with yeah, the right because, resolution. Uh, Obviously, if you're going to do, you know, uh, dissection, uh, you know, CSI-like uh, uh, dissection of what was really happening, the, the greater frequency is better. Yeah. But you probably won't need that for, you know, storing uh, ages of uh, material. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So you need to find a compromise. Yeah. So you get the horizon as well as, you know, the instant. Pretty cool. Well, uh, all this and more we're going to talk quite a lot about, uh, you know, in the upcoming, uh, upcoming programs. But again, 
in three days, it's basically the start of a show that never, never came. <laughs> but the features are uh, made and it's going to be ready. And, and you know, when can we actually see uh, all these features? Because we're preparing a release for early next year, right? Yeah, we're planning this uh, six uh, one release uh, across all products yeah. uh, early uh, next year or late this year. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, then we're planning to have a lot of these goodies uh, in that release. Uh, and uh, of course, there will be updates after that. But you know, the initial release will be end of this year. That's the plan. So guys are working really hard to, to make that happen. Oh, that is excellent. So uh, for all of you that already have probes, check your software maintenance. If your software maintenance is OK, you can install this very, very soon and, uh, you know, uh, really have fun. And for all you guys that uh, don't have probes, go buy some. Find your nearest business partner and buy some. Of course. I would say go buy now. Niels, this has been a, a pure pleasure. Uh, thank you for, for joining us for this uh, pre-show uh, small event, basically. And uh, we will be back with even more information. Um, of course, uh, don't forget to tune in next Tuesday for the, uh, the season close of the Bridge Show in, in, uh, before, uh, before Christmas. We will then have our Christmas special. Holy Moses, who's going to come? Who knows? So, uh, probably everyone. But in the meantime, we are saying over and out uh, from our IP base studio here in the basement of our HQ in Oslo, Norway. And thank you, Niels, for joining. That was very, very good thank of you. Simon. And in the meantime, don't forget to tune in next Tuesday and have a wonderful Tuesday.